I'll give a little review of my project so far. This is a 1990 Jayco that I picked up for less than $600 and the exterior is in fairly good shape. All the components on the inside seem to work fine. But as you can see I did have to remove some rot that was in the floor and in the cabinets. The inside of the camper I've been doing some work to replace the rot that was coming from this corner. So I took off all the paneling, I added some insulation, I framed it up a little bit better underneath and I, and I put the paneling back. On the outside of the paneling I put these pieces of trim that really help support the ceiling. And after that was all secure then I put the bed back in place. For the rest of the camper I did some work on the furnace, which was really just removing the ductwork and the dead mice that were inside of it. I had to do a little bit of electrical work for the refrigerator. My son and I framed up the space that's going to be used as a bathroom. We replaced the rotted floor in the back with a sheet of half inch treated and we also replaced the paneling in the back too that was rotted. Now over the past couple days it's been raining and there hasn't been any water that has come in so now I can move on to more fun projects on the inside. My idea is to take this back area and create sort of a gun storage. I guess we'll see how that turns out. the basic frame in place. Um, by no means am I a carpenter so it didn't turn out fantastic but it should do just fine. My idea is I'll put some paneling on the back here and then the, the guns would sit right in this area. So they'll sit here and then flip up right like that. Probably end up with some latches on each side too. I installed some carpet on the inside of this gun cabinet that worked to kind of cover some of the holes that were there from where the previous cabinets were and it also helps to, to soften the area if I do use this for storing guns. My next step I'm going to install some latches here that will help hold this in place.
Putting in these latches could not have gone any worse. I actually ended up splitting the wood when I was drilling the hole for this lock. But what I did was I put a piece of trim in front of it all and that helped stabilize everything and it also gave me a little bit more meat to drill the hole into. Now the locks do work pretty smooth and it is nice that they have a key so that if I do end up storing guns here they'll be all locked up. I caulked up some of the holes and now I'm ready to paint. I do have a little bit more touch-up paint to do, but I thought I'd show you what I have going on on the inside. So with just a few simple brackets, I was able to create a space to mount my rifles, and then on each side I have a pistol, or what I like to call a showy shooter. Of course this space can be used for other things as well. It can be used for storing your skis. Hockey equipment, baseball equipment, fishing poles, bow and arrow, or just your basic camping supplies. The possibilities are endless. There's a hole here from where the old light was. And that works out pretty well for me. Because I'm going to end up putting a switch here. And, and tap into it so that I can run LED lights on the inside of this cabinet. I think that will look pretty awesome for a gun storage.
Voila, there it is. Lighted gun storage, just what every camper needs.